So, uh, first off, Danny, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about the movie. Um, thank you a lot, Ashley. Uh, I really love the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rafi. I appreciate you inviting me and for your interest. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. I, thank you for giving, letting, me to get, letting me do the interview in English. I'd rather do it in English than in Spanish. So of course. I got I got to right off the bat start talking about the play specifically. Did, did you have, did you have the chance to watch the play, or did they give you a recording of the play be, before coming into the movie, or did you come in like blindly? You know, I, I did not have the opportunity of watching the musical uh, prior to doing the film. I mean, I could have uh, watched it, you know, uh, you know, video of it, uh, but I thought that, <clears throat> you know, Michael Park, who plays Larry on stage is, is such a fantastic actor. Um, <clears throat> and I didn't want to be influenced by, you know, his choices or his performance. Um, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people when I watch something, it just, it absorbs into my brain. It's hard for me to, to find my own way in. Uh, so I tried to preserve, uh, preserve that, you know, to, to have my own way to express Larry and his journey um while still paying tribute to you know the other men who who, who played Larry I think you just you already answered my second question my follow-up question to my, their preference so I'm going to jump into my third one I want to talk about Larry obviously Larry dealing with the loss of his son things that happens at work which is normal it happens all the time which means just called gossip you know what was what was going through Larry's mind in your opinion when he found out what happened to his son and then obviously what, what was going through his mind when he found out what, what you know, what uh, uh, Evan was to, what did? You know, Rafi, that's a really good question, man. Um, it's such a traumatic thing to find out that your son, uh, who had threatened to commit suicide, uh, finally did commit suicide. I mean, it's it's unspeakable, you know, being a father of uh, two uh, adolescent boys of 14 and a 15 year old to put myself in Larry's position uh, and to feel that loss, that being unable to find a solution for your son, being, you know, unable to help your son, uh, that devastation uh, was something that I felt incredibly you know deeply uh but then on top of that to understand that i was imagining it you know i had the luxury of imagining that even though it was brutal and there were moments you know as a father that were really difficult on set that were difficult at home and preparing for the role in certain scenes that you know it took a while for me to get over i was imagining that you know and it struck me in a, in a profound way that there are families there are brothers and sisters, there are parents, uh, communities, schools who are dealing with this in real life. And uh, to me, you know, that was very difficult to, uh, to swallow. And I think the second part of the question, uh, what was going to Larry's mind when, we, when he found out what Evan was doing? Uh, yeah. I mean, to tell me too much spoilers, obviously. I, you know, I, I feel like there's, there's so many different ways of grieving. You know, especially when it comes to suicide. Uh, I think what you see with the song um, Requiem that that Larry sings, along with you know his his uh, wife Cynthia, who's played by Amy Adams, uh, and his uh, daughter-in-law uh, Zoe, who's played by Caitlin Deaver, both amazing actors and singers uh, in their own right. Uh, what you see are three different people in the same family grieving in three different ways. Uh, you know, I think Larry goes from trying to be uh, the strong person uh, in the family, the strength for everybody else. Uh, I think he also, you know, has anger towards the situation. Um, and, and as the movie progresses, you start to see the different phases of grief in all three characters mm -hmm. and, and Larry ultimately, you know, comes to, to, to grieve in a way that is perhaps more healthy. Uh, 
And, and you know, ultimately, I think that's also one of the messages in the film is, is to be yourself, you know, is to accept who you are and to try, to try and lean into that, to accept it. And a lot of different characters, I think, are, are attempting to do that. I think, I think one of the other messages is okay not to be okay. It's, it's, I think it's also an understanding message. Um, one final question, and you mentioned it. Uh, talk, let's talk about working with Amy Adam. How was that? What were you able to grasp from her? Was it fun? How, how is she personally? <laughs> uh, she's amazing. Amy, Amy Adams, uh, I mean, she's, she's not only an incredible actor, uh, she's a fantastic singer. Uh, but she is an equally genuine, uh, authentic person. Uh, and, you know, given the pandemic and our, you know, inability because of COVID protocols and mm -hmm. to, to not be in the same room very often, uh, to, to, to work with an actor who leads with authenticity, uh, there was a, a shorthand that we had uh, to build, you know, that relationship between Larry and Cynthia. Uh, and that, you know, that's something that I will always be grateful for. Danny, again, thank you for your time. I really love the movie. I'm an advocate for mental health right here where I'm at right now. So I, I it was fitting for me to cover this movie. Thank you. Well, Rafi, thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, the other big message is when it comes to mental health is that uh, you are not alone. You are not alone. And, and I hope that that resonates with people who are suffering and with people who can help those who are suffering from it. Thank you, Rafi. Thank you.